Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the ammonium NH4 plus ion. So here we go. We've got ammonium, which is NH4 plus, so it's an ion. And so the, the uh, electrons brought in, we have 5 from the nitrogen plus 4 times 1 each from each hydrogen minus one, which is because of the plus in the ion, because ammonium is a cation, plus one, so you subtract one electron, because it's losing an electron. So, the total number of electrons here is going to be eight valence electrons, okay? So, because it's hydrogen, we can't really do the, the, the little trick that I, I typically do for um, Lewis structures. So let's just go ahead and start to draw this out. You have nitrogen in the center, because hydrogens cannot be the central atom. And you have four hydrogens. And we can go ahead and connect those with single bonds. And if you notice, that is two, four, six, eight, eight valence electrons. So that is actually the correct structure. However, we are forgetting one thing. When you have ions, you have to put a square bracket around the Lewis structure and then indicate what the charge is on the ion. So for this, in this case, since ammonium is a plus one charge, you need to have a, a square bra bracket around the, the structure drawing and then put a plus there to indicate the plus one charge. Now, let's go ahead and check the uh, formal charges just to make sure that this is going to be right. So the formal charge of nitrogen equals the number of valence electrons brought in, which is five, minus the number of bonds, one, two, three, four, minus the number of non-bonding electrons, which there are not any of those, so it's zero, equals plus one. Okay, now the formal charge of hydrogen is going to end up being, if you look at this one, the formal charge is um, one valence electron brought in minus one bond minus non-bonding electrons, and there's none of those, so that's zero. So, if you were to sum up all of the formal charges for each hydrogen and then the one for the nitrogen, it'd be plus one, plus zero, and, and then all of the zeros, and that means that the overall formal charge is plus one, which matches the charge of the ion, and that is actually exactly what has to happen. So. When you have an ion, the formal, the sum of the formal charges must be equal to the charge on the ion itself. So this is the correct structure. This is this is this is accurate, and we can go ahead and look at the shape. Since there's just one central atom and four surrounding bonding sites, it's going to be an AX4 shape, which means it is a tetrahedral shape because none of them are um, lone electron pairs and the uh, bond angles between each of the bonding sites is going to be 109.5 degrees ideally and because each of the bonding atoms are the same they're all nitrogen or sorry they're all hydrogen atoms the, this is going to be a non polar compound because it's symmetric with the same atoms on each each bonding site uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message. If you have any specific requests, let me know. And thanks for watching.